back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be going to several coffee shops you know coffee shops that i haven't been to but i really want to try out you know just to give you guys my honest opinion and of course if you know me you guys know that i love a coffee and i love to try you know um new iced coffees um i'm a little bit you know open to um going to new coffee shops even though sometimes i do like get comfortable to going to the same ones that i usually always go to but you know sometimes you know it's very fun to try new things out but anyways for today we're going to be trying this one that is called play coffee and it is in fullerton so far it looks very very good it has 4.8 stars and 137 people have commented and yeah so far the reviews are pretty great i guess that they they have this like um iced coffee that is called volcano and it's pretty popular i still don't know like what i'm gonna get but you know once i get once i get there we're gonna see but yeah you guys so today i'm gonna go to that copy and then tomorrow i'll go to another one and then um i'll go to another one on thursday because you know i don't want to be drinking too much um iced coffee in one single day but yeah The first coffee shop of course we are visiting is play coffee this is a coffee shop that is located downtown in fullerton and it's a very beautiful it's surrounded by many different restaurants and even other coffee shops but as you guys can see in the inside very beautiful um nothing you know too extravagant i think their design is just simple but very beautiful their menu also is pretty simple and small And I got myself an iced lavender latte. I had seen a lot of people, you know, um, say it was very good. So I decided to try it out for myself. This coffee shop is so big. They have like a lot of the space. They have space out here and they still have like some in the front. I mean, anyways, the coffee tastes. This is, um, I got an iced lavender latte, but it tastes really good. It's something new. Like, I've never tried a lavender latte, but. This latte reminds me of this cereal that I had like a long time ago when I was a kid, but I don't remember. But it kind of tastes like that. But yeah. And I'm just going to do some work right now and just chill, but first coffee, I'm going to give it four stars. So today is Tuesday and we're gonna, I'm sorry, today is not Tuesday, today is Wednesday. Wait, let me check. Yes, today is a Wednesday. Sorry, I don't know what the heck I was thinking that it was Tuesday. But today is a Wednesday and today we're gonna try a new coffee shop. So I um, was looking, you know, here nearby, like some new coffee shops. And there was this one that um, sounds pretty good and it is called Smoke Tiger Coffee and Bread and hold up let me so it has 4.5 stars and has 150 um reviews and so far all the reviews you know all the comments that people have left is pretty good and yeah i am very excited to try it out i have never been here but you know i'm looking at the pictures and you know the interior design looks very nice you know um there's like a lot of wood but it still looks very pretty so we're gonna go there 
for today and yeah i'm gonna give you guys my opinion how i like the coffee and i'll probably try some of the desserts because it they seem very good as well so yeah but i also really quick wanted to show you guys my outfit i thrifted this shirt i think last week and i love it so much i just love the detail and it has like flowers you know all around it even though i kind of feel like this shirt is more like of a fall you know like type of shirt but i mean i'm still gonna wear it but yeah i love it so much and yeah i'm wearing this with some jeans that is today's outfit and then i think i'm gonna leave around two and be there by i don't know maybe three and yeah hope you guys are having a great day it is hot oh I was about to cuss. I'm sorry. But it's very hot today. And I love it. So we just got here already. I had to park kind of in the back. Because there wasn't any parking in the front. Because it seems like it's pretty full. Or I don't know. It's because there's different like kind of stores. And so in the front it's like pretty packed the parking. But anyways we're going to go inside already. And try it out. Yes I'm so excited. <laughs> So now we are here at Smoking Tiger Coffee and Bread and as you guys can see this is the menu here. They have a little bit more um, variety here and they also have more desserts. I didn't end up getting any dessert because honestly I didn't really you know like anything but yes they also have plenty of desserts and some of them I have never ever like seen but I guess that's what makes them unique. And sorry for the lighting. I know that it's like pretty weird, but it was like pretty dark inside here. And yeah. I'll be waiting there for you. Cotton candy clouds reflected in your eyes. I'm outside and it was very packed inside and there's like a lot of noise because of course there's lots of people inside. So I went outside, but that's okay, you know, I get some fresh air even though it's pretty hot. And I, you guys see like this umbrella? I thought it would, like, it moves like this and I thought it was gonna fall on me and I got a little bit scared, but anyways, I got one of their signature drinks. It's the, um, oh my goodness, I forgot what to call it. It's, it's Span Spaniard, Smoking Spaniard, something like that. I'll write it, I'll put it, you know, in the video. But yeah, we're gonna try it and this is, um, their cup right here normally like in other coffee shops like they just have you know the see-through ones but that's pretty interesting you know makes them unique but yeah let's try it out i like it it tastes really good so it has cinnamon and cinnamon flavor so and i like you know cinnamon flavor so it tastes really good i like it for some reason it kind of reminds me like of there's like a Going by. It reminds me of like a tra this traditional, you know, drink that um, from my mom's home country is cacao. Like, kind of reminds me of that, which that's why I like it. Mmm, but it's very, very good. Not too, you know, it's not too sweet, not too strong. It's just perfect. Yeah, okay, guys, I think I'm gonna give this one a five stars. I really, really did like it. And I totally forgot to ask them if they have cold foam because at the other one I, I went to, they didn't have that. And if you guys know, I like to add cold foam, you know, on top of my iced coffees, but I totally forgot. And I'm the only one who's outside. Everyone's inside. But I mean, that's okay. Merry go rounds in my heart. Illuminated by flashing signs. You take my hand and you pull me inside. When did everyone else disappear? Meet me at Manhattan Hinge. Meet me. And now we are here at Cafe Love Box, and this was honestly my favorite coffee shop out of all the ones I had went to. Everything was just very pretty and perfect. And as you guys can see, that is the menu, and their menu was so big. They had so many different things. They had noodles, they had fried food, they had tea, they had frappuccinos, fruit smoothies, and it was just very great. And the design inside was very beautiful as well, very green. 
because they had lots of flowers, lots of plants. They even had these little fishes in here. But overall, the environment was very calm, very peaceful, and just overall, it was just a very magical experience. I really did love this coffee shop. And for the iced coffee, I decided to try their cinnamon dulce and I absolutely loved it. I loved the detail and the coffee um, was pretty big. I didn't think it was going to be um, that big. I think this was the me, the regular one, so I can't imagine how the large one was going to be. But I really did love it. It was very good. Very, um, It was a little bit more on the sweet side, but not super sweet. I also got me some ramen noodles and just look how delicious that looks not only does it look delicious but it tasted delicious as well and I got the mild noodles they had spicy noodles but I went for the mild one but overall I really loved the noodles they were very delicious Thank you. 